Well, hey everyone, I'm Nick and welcome back to Cyphernetics. Well, today we have the trailer and some promo photos to have a look at for Star Trek Strange New Worlds Season 2, Episode 3, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. The time travel episode where we get to see Kirk and Lan team up for a bit of an expedition into the past. Looks like an exciting adventure. We already had the sneak peek scene for that episode, which is very interesting. If you haven't seen that, click up here. Uh, and you can uh, check that out, which goes into a very interesting link to that Voyager Relativity episode. But today we're going to have a look at this trailer. There's a few extra shots in there we haven't seen before and a few more promo photos as well. So we can get a bit of a sense of what we're in for for this week's episode of Star Trek Strange New Worlds. OK, without further ado, let's have a look at the trailer, check it out and then we'll talk about it shot by shot. Not to be impolite, but who are you and what are you doing on my ship? So you're telling me that there's an alternate timeline. I think you're supposed to help me. We're on a mission to protect the future of humanity. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a person. All right. OK, so let's have a look at some of the shots from the trailer that kind of whiz by very quickly and analyse them in a bit greater detail and see if we can get into a bit more of what's happening in this episode. In this first shot, we see Kirk in his read room. Uh, he's obviously the captain of the Enterprise at this particular change in the timeline. We see on his uh, jacket there, he's got a different style Starfleet insignia. It's probably not Starfleet at all. We know that there's a different name for the United Federation of Planets. I think it's called the UEF or UER or something to that effect. And if we look at the screen in the background here, we can also see that same logo on uh, the screen in his ready room, which indicates a different organization that they're representing. Here are Kirk and Lan in downtown Toronto, outside the Eaton Centre. We've got a billboard there saying budget overruns on Lake Ontario Bridge. There's no bridge on Lake Ontario, so this must be a, a difference in the timeline where, in this particular reality, there is a bridge over <laughs> Lake Ontario. And there's a billboard here on this building which looks like it says Dr. Keeler, obviously named for Edith Keeler in the uh, City on the Edge of Forever episode in original series. And here's a look at the uh, terror attack or whatever it happens to be with the uh, Lake Ontario Bridge in pieces. Uh, looks like there's been some sort of catastrophic attack of some description which has completely destroyed the bridge. And this is what Lan and Kirk are going back to prevent happen. Lan and Kirk outside the Toronto Eaton Centre with the uh, Dr. Keeler billboard again in the background behind them. Kirk and Lan in a very dimly lit, uh, ominous looking building here. We've got a very old fashioned kind of bluestone building on the left of frame there with a very kind of modern glass building there on the on the right of frame. Now Kirk and Lana are in civilian attire, so they've obviously gone through that store with the revolving door and changed out of their Starfleet uniforms and into some more uh, era-appropriate clothing. Got Kirk here playing a game of chess with a gentleman of African heritage. Uh, looks like Lana's standing by watching. She's either on the top of frame or the bottom right of frame. It would seem she's watching on while he plays this game of chess with somebody. Lana here on the ground, she's holding a weapon. It's not a phaser though. It's a, uh, looks like a De Glock or something, an era, era appropriate handgun. So obviously there's the need for some, uh, some, some weaponry in their uh, mission there on Toronto. It looks like that Lan and Kirk are going to cross paths with Pelia. She's obviously on Earth, uh, has been living on Earth for quite some time, and it would appear she maybe has like an antique shop or something uh, in Toronto here. Kirk and Lan watching on whilst I'm assuming the uh, the Lake Ontario Bridge gets blown up. Uh, this obviously is what they've gone to prevent happen, so I'm guessing we might be getting some time loop situations here where maybe they don't they don't succeed first time round. Kirk and Lan in a bit of a tender moment here. Look like there's some chemistry brewing between these two, so that'll be interesting to see how that develops or plays out. Looks like we get Kirk behind the wheel of a 2020 Dodge Demon Challenger, which could be an interesting ride. Obviously, a little bit of a learning curve maybe there, behind getting behind the wheel of, of a 21st century vehicle. Reminds me a little bit of the same thing that Raffi and Seven did when they were in LA for uh, Season 2 of Star Trek Picard. So I wonder if Lan and Kirk are going to fare any better than Raffi and uh, Seven did when they were on their time travel escapade. Okay, we've also got some promo photos as well to check out from this episode. Uh, let's have a look at them and see uh, what insight they can uh, give us about what's coming up in episode three. So here we've got Kirk and Lan. They've obviously just activated the time travel device that the, uh, the future time cop guy has given Lan, and they've uh, transported themselves into some alleyway there in, uh, in Toronto. 
they're looking pretty surprised. So I wonder whether they had no idea where their destination was going to be and the device just sort of took them there without them having any kind of forewarning of where they might actually be heading in the space-time continuum. We've got a bit of snow on the ground, so it must be uh, winter, I guess, when they've, uh, they've arrived in this particular point in time to solve their uh, mission there of uh, saving the uh, Lake Ontario Bridge from being destroyed or whatever it happens to be. And this scene looks like it's probably just before they go into that shop with the revolving door to get a change of clothes. So they're probably looking for uh, somewhere they can get out of uh, their conspicuous Starfleet uniforms and get changes some more uh, era-appropriate clothing. Yep, and here they are. They've uh, just come into the fashion store uh, in the Eaton Centre. Kirk's obviously been having a bit of trouble getting through the revolving door there, and it appears like uh, Lan's maybe giving him a bit of a hard time about it. Now, it seems like they might be seeking some help from uh, from Pellia because uh, what I'm knocking, uh, knocking on the door here looks like an old antique shop or something to that effect. Uh, and, of course, inside this antique shop, uh, we find that there is Pellia, our, our new chief engineer from the Enterprise. And she's been living on Earth for quite some time. Obviously, her race is like a thousand years old. And she's been hanging out on, on uh, Earth amongst humans for, for quite some time. It doesn't look like they've made much uh, effort to uh, to de-age uh, Carol Kane or anything. I guess they figure she's uh, old enough. She's going to look pretty much the same that she does uh, present day in the 23rd um, century as she looks back in the 21st century, I suppose. And from the looks of her shop that she's got here in Toronto, um, lots of old antiques and so forth adorn the shop. So it appears that she's like an old antique trader or something to that effect at this particular time. Got lots of lots of old um, relics and things there. And, it, uh, and strangely enough, we can see the camera in the bottom left hand corner of shop. You don't normally see the camera in uh, in the ba ba bottom of these sort of promotional photos. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be a pretty cool episode this week. I always like the time travel episodes. They're always uh, very captivating. I'm, I'm a big Back to the Future fan from, from way back. So uh, any episode that has a bit of a time travel component, I think, is always kind of a bit cool. Yesterday's Enterprise is probably one of my favourites from Next Generation, and that's a, that's obviously a big uh, episode involving time travel where the timeline was changed and they had to correct things and so forth. So hopefully this team up between Kirk and Lan is an interesting one for episode three. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to Cyphernex yet, please don't be shy to do so. Click on that big subscribe button to stay current and up to date with all the latest Star Trek news on YouTube. Uh, merch store sale, at the moment 15% off. Uh, if you check out my merch store, pick yourself up a hoodie or a mug or a t-shirt or a sticker or something. 15% um, off at the moment until Sunday, until Sunday the 2nd of July, 15% uh, off. So be sure to take advantage of that sale while it lasts. I'll be back very soon on, uh, on Thursday for my review for episode three. I'll catch you guys then.